Alright, so what I'm going to do is just quickly check the um, power factor. Basically the true um, wattage for this motor. It's a PSC motor here. And um, I'm going to use this Testo 770-3. Do so. First all I'll do is just get black lead here. Matter of fact, I like to get it down here to be honest with you, make sure it's the proper one. This one here. And check our amps we got. One thing with this Testo though, you've got to make sure the amps read high when you've got, you know, if you try to hang the meter like such on the wire. So you literally do have to take into account these little indicator marks here. And it has to be below those marks. So you see I've got 5.1 there. If I do that, it's 5.5. So that's a pretty significant difference. So they want us pretty much right on the indicator, but I go below it just to be sure. Um, this kind of sucks about this meter. I'm not really seeing a meter that sensitive. So I'll just type in a measure quick uh, manually. Type in 5.2 voltage. Get our leads hooked up here. And I just grab my voltage out of the um, junction box here. 118.9 Whoops. And then to get our true power, we're going to have to get our power factor entered in. It's cool cuz this meter will display it. Like I said, make sure you have your lead below those indicator marks so 508 watts 0 0.82 0 0.2 518 watts I'm going all the way down to 497 if I go too low on it. So yeah, it's got to be literally lined up perfectly with those indicator strips. This week. Let's look what happens if you have it at the bottom here. Watch this. 537. That's way off. Try it again at the bottom here. 507. That's kind of off. Now we can line it up perfectly with the 518. And we know that's right. The thing about power factor, you want it to be closer to you want, definitely want it to be above 0.82 and that's kind of low so I'm going to check the capacitor and make sure that's good to go. Um, it should be around between 0.96 and you know 1 unity. So that's a good sign that your um, capacitor is not um, giving out the proper capacitance so not the right phase correlation. So. That's pretty much it. Simple, straightforward. And that's how you get the power on an inductive load, like a motor, get the true wattage. Um, Alright, we finish this maintenance up and we'll see you on the next one.